Android users can now pay on Twitter to drop the spaces button? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews, and today we're going to be talking about Twitter's latest update. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Phone. More on them at the end of the video. So now Android users on Twitter can pay to drop the spaces button too, just like iOS. Let's jump right in. Twitter Blue has finally started letting subscribers on Android customize the app's navigation bar. The feature, which was previously available only on iOS, lets you get rid of the spaces icon that's smack dab in the middle of your navigation bar, and of course, uh, remove some of the other tabs if you want to as well. With custom navigation, you can reduce the number of display tabs to as few as two, or keep all five that appear by default. Handy if you're tired of stretching your finger over the spaces tab just to get to your DMs and notifications. Twitter first started testing the spaces tab on iOS last year and rolled out the tab on Android in May, which seemed to only give more inconvenienced users a reason to sign up for the uh, uh, $2.99 a month blue subscription launched last year. We actually have a couple of screenshots from Twitter. Uh, let me see over here. So this is the mm, custom navigation setting and uh, in it you can see that um, Explore messages and notifications are selected spaces on the side whereas home is on the left alrighty um, Okay But blue can't save us from every feature that's cluttering up the app Twitter announced last week that it's going to start including more information in the banner that shows active spaces at the very top of your timeline while there still isn't a setting to turn this banner off entirely, neither for free or blue subscribers at the moment, it will show who's hosting the space, who shares a tweet in the space, as well as relevant topics. Great. So um, definitely uh, some streamlining is happening on Twitter's end. And uh, if you ask me for my uh, personal take, really, uh, here's what I'm going to say. No social media platform out there is perfect or has like, you know, the absolute perfection of a layout because it's all very subjective and varies from user to user. Uh, but yeah, the option to like vary uh, the layout at all by you know toggling on or off a bunch of different settings is a nice feature to have I feel like a lot of users are gonna be able to appreciate it more because then you have the ability to fine-tune the layout or the um, interface uh, of any social media app according to your liking it and I feel like that is the right approach uh, that is the cookie cutter solution uh, when there isn't one and uh, yeah as an option, uh, well, I mean, it's still hidden behind a paywall with the blue subscription. But then again, the fact that it still exists at the end of the day, uh, instead of, you know, not. Uh, I mean, yeah, um, I would definitely want it to be free. But then again, it still exists, so I can't really complain a whole lot. But yeah, that's just me. Let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section below. Clean phone is the perfect phone for your kids because it allows you to manage everything on the phone remotely. It has tons of amazing features such as easily allowing you to pick and choose which apps and games your child can use, provides you access to active phone monitoring including SMS and phone call usage, allows you to control how long and how often your kids can use apps or the internet. You can even check their call and SMS logs including inbound and outbound calls and messages and it is the perfect way to manage their screen time. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.